Hey and welcome to High 45, a weekly discussion about the future impact of this week's world and tech news leading towards a singularity. I'm Tristan Grace. I'm Nathan Waters. And this is High 45. Woo! Hells yeah. Well, let's get straight into it. Let's see uh, what six do we have or... We have more this week, don't we? Yeah, quite a few. There's been a lot happening this week. A lot of cool science-y stuff. And... Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm all minus science-y. That's awesome. So I, I'm probably going to stumble on a couple of things, so... Just... Mine, mine are a little bit. Yeah. Mine are... Yeah, mine are weird things. Well, you go yours first if you've got a f- okay. quite a few. Dude, Japan's <laughs> building a $2 billion robot moon base by 2020. <laughs> like, a good. base for robots by robots, built by robots. On the moon. Uh, yeah, let's just accept our overlords now, eh? Will do. Also, there's this company called Willow Garage, which is building a platform to propel robotics. They've basically got a uh, OS, and they're doing some cool stuff. Um, another thing, a team at the UNSW, that's a freaking university in Australia, Fuck yeah. They built the world's smallest transistor made of just seven silicon atoms. That's cool. freaking awesome. Uh, there's also a biofuel cell, which is pretty cool. And I want to talk a little bit about, um, there's been this study in an article, this Wired article, about how the brain is rewired on, like, when you browse the internet. And just, the, just any thoughts about that? Kind of cool. Uh, my ones, uh, Sony has just demoed this OLED display that you can actually wrap around a pen, uh, wrap around, yeah, wrap around a pen and it'll still keep playing. So it's a uh, really thin, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, <laughs> this next one is about, we're running out of, uh, certain elements around the earth. Uh, this is about, uh, element gallium. And so I thought that was kind of cool that we're actually reaching a stage that we can actually mine everything we can on the earth. So I wanted to talk about that. And then the coolest thing is this video you have to check out about an autonomous quadricopter that's flying through windows and doing all this cool stuff. And it's, it's scary. Pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah. You know, let's start with yours. Oh, okay. Shall I do go in the same order? <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, yeah, Japan has just announced that uh, not only are they sending humanoid robots to the moon, but they're actually planning by 2020 to have a robot base that's built by robots. Um, and it's just four robots. It's their... Uh, I think it's $2.2 billion project. Um, they're basically going to... Let me just read it a little bit here. They're doing a uh, construction of an unmanned base near the south pole of the moon that will be powered by solar panels. And just these robots are going to roam around measuring different things. They're going to have uh, they're gonna have solar panels, uh, seismographs to investigate the moon's inner surface, and high-def cameras, and just gathering rock samples and doing all the crazy spacey stuff. It's so cool. <laughs> As robots do. It's a, it's a robot plant on Mars. They're yeah. like, let's shoot some machines up there and make them build more machines and conquer them. And I, yeah, what will be cool with that is, I mean, we've said this before, like, there's no point in humans going into space. It's, it's really not. It's expensive. You have to, you know, they have to shit, they have to eat. They're just... All of the systems are designed to actually keep the humans alive. Yeah. Because, I mean, you can chuck something up in space. It's really tiny. It, yeah. needs, it needs solar panels. And yeah, it can that's last it. for as long as it can keep going. We don't need it. Going. But the spirit yeah. of exploration. <laughs> Oh, you said a couple of the Mars rovers, have, uh, the Mars ones have actually died. Like, no, I thought, died. I thought they came back. Oh, no, that was the Galileo did. space probe. That came back. Yeah, they worked out the... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a bummer yeah. about the probes. I haven't been following it this much. Yeah. Um, and the, the other story related to robotics, there's this company called Willow... This is off Singularity Hub. Go check them out. Um, there's this company called Willow Garage, which is also another freaking cool company. This is a robotics company that is purely open source. Sweet. These guys are fucking amazing. They have they've built this robot called the PR2, which is I mean it's it's not a sexy robot. <laughs> I'm gonna say that <laughs> it's a freaking it's a boring <laughs> ugly robot. Like it's got it it's on tracks and it's got these arms. And it's got this head. Yeah. Like it's got all so the, your standard robot, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, it's got all the points of movement to do cool stuff with. But uh, what they're trying to do is they've uh, given away apparently eleven of these robots to different research groups around the world, like MRT and a couple of other ones. Yeah. Um, but on top of this, they release a robot operating system, which they're trying to essentially turn into like the Linux or Linux of uh, robotics. That is cool. So, so they can actually build the, the OS of. Yeah. Robots. Well, what they're saying now is, um, I mean, the biggest thing with robotics so far has been the hardware has been the biggest problem, like trying to get a robot to balance, trying to get it to walk, yeah, trying to yeah. get it to move its arms in certain ways. But that's just software, really. That I mean, once you know how to do that, yeah, if you can well, make it open. Well, that's what the, that's what they're playing is. They want to actually make a make it a software issue now. That is just great. Like I mean, if you know roughly what hardware to do with it, I mean, if you can standardize a lot of the robotic stuff, that yeah, would be cool. You chuck them onto the moon, and you make them go conquer some space aliens. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it's just really cool that these guys are actually pushing forward with this massive plan to propel robotics. 
and they really want to have like you know robots in their homes and actually yeah. doing all the crazy sci-fi futuristic stuff before these guys die and they're like in their I'm guessing early 40s but this company has millions of dollars invested and there's no intellectual property rights oh, they're that. completely open source well what they were saying about just before that like just the single um, arm or robotic arm actually like going around on track wheels or something if you could open source that and have roughly a standardized arm going around and you make yeah. it like in the realm of maybe not consumerist but maybe like people who want to experiment and do all of that crazy stuff because it leads on to one of my stories later on but one arm you could do all of this cool shit like I mean if you could actually program that arm attach a camera onto it catch balls and do all that different senses, imagine if yeah. you just had like an arm sitting over there I could just get a ball, I could just chuck it, the arm would catch it, it back. and it would throw it back. <laughs> that is fun, and it's just, that's creepy, software, yeah. that is purely <laughs> software right there, that I mean, as long as the camera is good enough and the arm can catch a ball, then... We'll say, no, it, hardware's a big issue. Like, you well, it is, action. you need to roughly standardise yeah. it, that's or why at least be within certain things. Yeah, that's why this company, they're trying to make the, the hardware obsolete, so that it's mm. like... Yeah, here's the hardware, it does what you need to do. But we see with a lot of the software, you could actually modify it based on if the software was uh, versatile enough that depending on how the hardware is, that you'd modify it based on how it's used. Yeah. And so then it'd be like, the, it needs this strength because it's this arm is like this. And you put in all the specifications and the software knows roughly, okay, with these specifications, I would need to move here to catch the ball and do yeah. that. It's kind of cool. And then they're it's going on there. the moon. <laughs> <laughs> So Mars, is, great. Mars is after is, that. Is it like, a per permanent moon base? I'd say so. So it's, it's an actual moon base, like the... Yeah, well, they're, they're <sighs> solar powered, I mean... If they can... Oh, yeah, my I'll God. see what happens, like... Yeah. Well, because, I mean, like, we've got the probes already, like, on Mars and stuff, yeah. but a base where you could just keep on sending stuff and build the base into bigger things. What would be cool if, is if they could actually use... Probably there's no resources on the moon. If they could actually use some sort of resource yeah, on where true. they are to build more robots. Yeah, so. yeah. What well, if they sent it to somewhere that... Then it's... I don't even know what you can find on the moon. There's the helium three. It doesn't really help with robots. Did you carve a mm. giant like Japanese symbol into the moon? <laughs> 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 yeah. It just like it just writes like fuck China. Yeah. It's like, oh man, you really want to do that? It's just a tentacle creeping around the sun. The history. Wow, wow, wow. That move, guys. <laughs> I was like, that's it. Screw a laser on Earth, like, signing something <laughs> on the moon, let's just design it on there. Or just, like, really bad English. Yeah, that could work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that kind of leads on to one of my stories here, which is uh, from Engadget, which is really cool. It's been all over everywhere. Um, I originally found it on Reddit, I think. This is an autonomous quadrocopter, which flies through windows and straight into our hearts. <laughs> is that the title? That's the title. Wow. Terrible, terrible Who wrote title. that? I don't know. Blazard of a fuck you, dude. Yeah. Vladislav Savov. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, this is an incredible video. You have to watch it. It is... Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a quadricopter, so it's got, like, four propellers going around, and it's just pretty much a flying platform. But the stunts it can do is just incredible. Like, it's just total maneuverability. Like, what we think about now, oh, my God, how much fun would that be to, like, have a, a little thing like that, a little helicopter. You could fly around the room and all that, but all the time you're always crashing, you're always, always doing all of that shit. But yeah. imagine if it just had computer guidance on there that it could fly around and do whatever it wanted. And this is what it's doing. It's flying through windows. It's landing on weird stuff. It's doing all of these really cool things. Check out the video. Yeah. Trust me, you'll not be disappointed. It, it really took my breath away that we're really at this point. And then I was like, holy crap, you, you put something deadly on there. I mean, spinning blades aren't already <laughs> deadly. But <laughs> you put something on there, it's just scary. Blue dots. Yeah. <laughs>